Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Let's see, what shall I do with the uh, the music? Let me get, there we go. I'm on the right, <laughs> got the right screen up. Let me just take that music down a bit. There we go, nice. So, welcome to the stream. The plan for today is to have another look at degeneration, um, which we had a little look at last time uh, on the channel. Um, but before that, I'd like to take us back a little bit further in time to 1983 and to this game for the Apple II. What's this, friends? A gumball machine? No ordinary gumball machine. So you'll see from the credits here, the, uh, the concept and various ideas were by Doug Carlston. This is a game primarily um, instituted by Vida Kovinka Cook under their previous name. Um, also the key designer of Degeneration from, from last week, and that we'll be having another look at later on. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to have a look at them, compare the two, uh, see, see what's going on with them. So I've had a little play with this game already. Um, the Apple uh, II has quite limited sound capabilities, but I think it makes good use of them here. So if you see here, this is um, an example. This is the first level that we'll be playing. This is the demo. Um, hmm, the uh, emulator I'm using seems to be running a bit slowly at the moment. I'll try closing a couple of unnecessaries down. I've got a few programs open um, that maybe don't need to be. That looks a bit smoother. There you go. So you can see here that it's. Um, we're going to try and get some output, gumball output, from these uh, these rather eccentric gumball machines. Let me press enter, and um, we'll have a go. I think as I was saying before, the um, the Apple II has limited um, sound capabilities, but I feel like the um, this game makes good use of what it can do. Um, to present an, a sound of automation. So, in terms of controls, we've got the space bar. Hang on, what's this person doing? It's coming over to our hopper. Our blue hopper, what's going to happen? Oh, uh, they tip it out, and so we don't get anything in there. So, as far as I can tell, there are three controls for this game there's the space bar. Uh, which operates the switches. So if you have a look at one of the tubes, you'll notice that when I press space bar, it flips a few switches um, to different locations. Oh dear, we've got <laughs> we've got another blue um, in the green hopper, which is not ideal. Um, okay, so the other controls are oh, I can't do anything at the moment because the the angry the angry person is shaking their fist at me again. Okay. So you can press F and S are your directional controls. So if you press F, the um, hoppers will move from their position on the left to their position on the right. 
Um, where that green hopper is now, I have no idea where that tube comes from that feeds into it. That's I haven't fathomed that yet in my previous attempts. Um, and then if you press S, the um, hoppers return to their previous location. You can't um, do it by degrees and you can't stop them at the intermediary positions either. So you have to kind of just sort of set them on their way and try and catch things if that's what you want to do. Um, I think that's a pretty good way to uh, get the right things in the right hoppers by pressing the switches I found. Um, so you want to let the greens go through the very first um, potential drop. Um, and you want to get the blues to go further through. There is a time limit. It is, it is kind of an ar arcade style uh, action puzzle game. Oh, I've got a green going the wrong way. Let's dump that out somewhere. Oh, maybe the pipe that goes down comes out on the end. Is that right? There you go, came over. Score zero, 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 zero. Okay, we'll give it another go. Oh, oh, okay, that was just a demo. That wasn't me. That was the demo. It isn't pretty straight back in. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got our limited functions, and we've got to make a certain quota by a certain time. I'm not quite sure what that time is. I guess by the end of the working day. Um, but it's quite hard to keep an eye on all of those elements, I find. So I'm just going to try and flip the switches as these gumballs come down. So we don't want the white one with the magenta and ah, green speckles because that's not much help to me. Um, oh no, oh no. Divided attention is not helpful. Um, yes, this has all gone a bit wrong, hasn't it? Oh, I see. So that ah, so yeah. If it goes to the windy things or the thing with the steps, then it comes back round again, which is actually not unhelpful because you can redirect something that way. So I think. Oh dear, I shouldn't have done that. I think in theory you can. Um, oh, oh dear, that didn't go right at all. Um. I think in theory, oh dear, the, the person's going to come out and, oh dear, I think in theory you could complete this level um, just by alternating the switches and not really having to move your hoppers around, it's my, my hypothesis but I haven't really been able to, uh, to test it. So I think we started off with a quota of Eight, but it seems to have changed to a quota of nine, which is intriguing, to say the least. What is that? But oh, the blue there. Didn't really see the coming and going at that one. So it's it's pretty intense. Uh, pretty graphically intense, anyway. And quite, quite, I find it quite hard to keep track of. Um, because my eyes tend to be following just one particular ball on its route and I have to kind of be mindful of where the other switches are. So I mean if I were to get through this level and uh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to, I think I've got to make my quota for, oh dear that didn't go quite well, um, end of the day, yeah. You gotta make your quota for both the green and the blue, as far as I can tell. Um, which is interesting. So I, I couldn't find out much about this game in my research. I couldn't find any original documentation or anything. Um, it was uh, it was made for Broderbund. Um, back in 1983, and teams seem to have typically been packaged with at least one other game um, as kind of like a little, I guess, what would we call them? We might call them casual games these days. Okay, arcade. It's kind of I, th I feel it's like an arcade puzzle game. And um, yeah, so the most 
prominent uh, piece of information I could seem to find out about it was that um, it had fairly recently, I think like within the last three or four years, um, been cracked by 4AM for, for use in emulation. And as far as I'm aware, um, that's what we're playing now. And if, if this is a cracked version, it's kind of an invisible crack. Um, there's no accreditation for 4AM on here. Um, but yeah, so uh, the interesting thing was that in um, cracking the program, which did take um, some effort by my understanding, as it was quite well uh, copy protected. Um, the 4AM discovered there was a um, a cipher hidden in the game, in messages between levels, um, and the solution to that um, suggested was like a congratulations message and a suggestion that there was there are other codes to crack in another game, another Brodemon game, but not specifying which. Um, which is kind of an interesting, an interesting thing to know. I think. Um, all right, so I'm doing great on the blues, but what how what do I do on the greens? Am I just gonna get greens now? That'd be great. Oh no, that's not the end of the day. Okay. Although the whistle means an hour to go, if it's an eight to five job. Yeah, just giving me greens now. So I think the device knows that I have. Oh yeah, five's the end of the day. Oh, can't believe you don't get any score unless you complete the. Um, I feel like we nearly did at that time. And while I was talking too, I think I finished my anecdote about the the secret message there. But let me know if you'd like to to know any more about it. I can let you know if I um, have any other details to reveal. But I think that's pretty much it. Um, so I don't know how how popular or well regarded this game was, um, particularly. Um, it seems pretty pretty darn solid to me. I love the design of it. Um, I think yeah, this is going to be a real challenge for me personally to play. Um, it's a bit like um, Extas, which we've played on uh, stream before. No, that was incorrect. Okay, that was incorrect. Uh, this is one of these sort of action puzzle games where your eyes have to be darting across looking at um, several different things at once, it seems. Um, and that's that's a real challenge. Um, yeah, so I, I like the um, I like the way color is used um, to make clear definitions between things. I like the way it's sort of laid out graphically. There's quite a clean, a schematic sense to um, how this level is laid out. This is the only level I've seen, <laughs> as you may have guessed. Um, but yeah, it's very sensitive to what it can do with a restricted palette. Um, simple graphics, um, but effectively, yeah, I think that's okay. Effectively used, um, and I think that's something that you can see in um, Degeneration as well when we come back to it um, shortly. Oh no, that was incorrect. That was not what I intended to do. Don't choke! Don't choke! Oh no, I choked. Okay, so there's a green, there's some greens. Let's, why is my quota now nine? Oh no, that's good. Oh, that was what I wanted to do. Okay, um, I think my supervisor playing with me. I don't know why my quota keeps going up. No, that was, oh, one hour to go. So that whistle is actually very helpful now. I know that it's the uh, one hour to knocking off time whistle. So I can kind of reclaim the greens if they go this way, which is helpful. Don't seem to be getting many more... Oh, that's the end of the day. Let's give it another go. I'm not good at it, but it's, it's pretty addictive, actually. Okay, we are I just have to check whether this was a dev or whether we were actually playing. 
Yes, yeah, so I think you start off at like 8, 8.30 maybe? And go to 5. Okay, so that already that green one's in the wrong place, which is not helpful. Um, don't want that white one, that can go in the waste disposed. No, I pressed the wrong thing. Shame on me. It's the getting distracted by one of a different colour that um, but maybe doesn't help. I'm just going to concentrate on this blue for now because I want this blue. And actually I leave everything as it is. Didn't help for the green but I got rid of the speckled one which was not quality approved. Green wants to go down there. I want that green and there, and I'll get rid of the speckly one. And I think that's okay for now. Um, I want that there. Okay, I think. Okay, we're up to one each. It's um, it's midday. That's not great. Time goes fast um, when you're working hard or hardly working. Okay, blue ones. I'm on board for blue ones. More blue ones. Okay, that didn't help. Uh, oh no, don't tip all my green ones out! Foreman! Wow, it actually animates how many are in there. That's very snazzy, I like that. Didn't realize it did that. So it's, yeah, a bit like G-Generation, there are just these little touches from uh, from something that is basically very simple um, that, that make it all kind of all the more hmm, appreciable. Not, I'm not going to say realistic, but um, didn't work, did it? Oh, near the end of the day as well. I'm definitely not going to get that the right number of green ones, am I? This has gone terribly. Oh, you speckled one. Get out of here. Super tough. Uh, okay. I, I really want to give it another go. Let's let's try again. So I, th I think I'm just going to confuse myself if I try and move these hoppers around, at least with things as they are in this level. Um, that's good. This is what I want. This is a good start. Blue's in the blue hopper. Green's in the green hopper. Um, yeah, that's good. And then, yep, switch back to there. Obviously, there's some randomization as well as to what you get and um, with what frequency, um, which could mess you up potentially. Um, yeah, that's no, that's a good way around to have things. I like the, um, there's definitely a variable speed as well that things travel, um, which is really interesting. That's a really interesting bit of programming that's in there. Okay, I've messed up while I was talking and uh, fouled up a green one and a blue one. Okay, no, I th I've just about pulled it back, I think. Yeah, yeah, I haven't got the wrong thing and the wrong thing yet, which is phew, a relief. Um, it's looking pl it's looking plausible and doable, I think, at the current state of things. So there's a blue going to come back round. So I need to make sure that's there. Come on, it's three in the afternoon. Give me something I can work with. <laughs> OK, 
okay. I'm uh, going just a little bit crazy here, but it's fine. <laughs> I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I just need to make sure this doesn't go in the wrong place. I guess if you get any surplus, then you get a bonus? Maybe. Did I do it? Game over, score zero. But I got eight in each hopper, did I not? Oh, uh, maybe I don't understand this game. How confusing. You saw I had eight in each hopper, right? Do I, do I not, do I not understand? What do I not understand? Okay, this might take some more research. I um actually yeah there's a gauge on the left that says F and S, which is interesting. Alright, I um I wonder so I don't think from that position I can go S anymore or F. Um so I'm really confused. I I wonder if the quota goes up if gumballs go in a certain direction, if there are like losses in the system. Let's test that out. I have to do a bit more research on this one because I I do rather like it, but I don't understand how to play it. I don't think. Yeah, so the quota has gone up. I'm sort of letting them just sort of trickle down the tube uh, that goes into the bottom. And I guess for every few that disappear, they might go up. Not entirely sure. Um, yeah, so I don't. So it looks like there's a counter underneath the timer, which is your score. I don't know how you get a score if I met the quota within the time. I'm not sure why that wasn't a success, to be honest. Hmm, intriguing. Um, let me know what you think. I'd be interested to hear your comments. And your thoughts on the on the uh, <laughs> the potential ways to play this game. And I'll do a bit of research. I'll see if I can find any more information or or anybody else playing it, um, just to see what you might need to do. But in the meantime, I think this is probably a great time to <laughs> switch over to something else. Hello friends, welcome back. We're streaming again. Surprise stealth stream. I felt our last stream didn't really do justice to um, the games I was showing off. So here we are back with Gumball from 1983. Uh, because in the intervening time I did a little bit more research. Um, the, the actual documentation on this game is, seems to be hard to find, but I found some playthroughs from which I had to draw some inferences about how the game works um, and I think I've got a reasonable idea of, of what we can do with it so let's let's give it a go here we go uh, apologies that the, um, the emulation is a bit stuttery I don't know uh, if that's down to my particular setup and what's going on there tried a few different settings to see if that would help. Nothing seems to have made a, a big difference with this. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll make do with what we've got. This is probably the most uh, graphically intense Apple II game I've, I've played. Uh, probably the most, I've, most intense I've seen today, actually. Um, so I'm not surprised if it would uh, falter a little bit from that point of view. But it, it could be the, um, the fault of, of how I'm emulating it as well. Um, it does seem to get into a flow once you're actually 
into the game once the level's loaded up. So we'll proceed with that. As I was saying before, I had to um, work out a few things by inference. Yeah, we're getting all the sounds now, that's great. So, first of all, let's pause the game. <laughs> it started a little bit there. So, pressing escape uh, pauses the game, I found. Pressing the uh, left arrow uh, on the um, the direction keys on the keyboard brings up the um, the high score table. So here you can see that I've played a couple of times and actually got a score, um, as opposed to um, last time we streamed when I was able to ret unable to return a score. Um, and yep, that's that's me under under cat for cat's coincidences there. So let's give this a go. So I believe I mentioned before that you can use S and F to move the hoppers around and use spacebar to flick all the switches at once. Well, turns out... Ah! It's going to be a task to talk and play this at the same time. Okay, so I worked out how to move the hoppers, folks, um, and stop them where you want them to. So uh, I can see three other P oh no I messed up oh no the the irate foreman's coming it's gonna tip out all my all my good stuff I'm gonna oh no I did get that one okay nice okay uh, that interrupted my flow so I found out from watching other people playing this although I couldn't find any let's plays with commentaries for this which wasn't quite so helpful um, there we go, I managed it. Phew! Uh, that people could move the hoppers um, to whatever point they wanted and stop them in place underneath any of these pipes. So I got to thinking, well, how would I do uh, that? Um, and. N oh no, that went a bit wrong. Uh, and we need nine, don't we? Oh no, I don't want that one, thanks. So, uh, we've got eight, that's pretty good. Let's stay here, this should do it. Okay, we should be able to do it. So, basically, I, I knew that, here we go. This is how you get points. You go to the right, and that tube that we didn't know what it did before sucks up your gumballs and gives you a score for them. And you get a cutscene if you complete the level. It looks like the foreman's going to the outhouse in this one. And then, level two foreman. So, it appears we got a promotion for our good work. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a sec so I can explain these controls without getting distracted. So the, the, uh, the what looks like an outlet on the far right of the screen is actually the intake for all your gumballs. So you need to get your carts over there um, to have them sucked up and counted. You get your score and you can make your quota that way. Uh, so I worked out that uh, people were moving their carts and stopping them exactly where they wanted to. Um, I knew that S and F on the keyboard controlled the directions of movement. So I took a guess that D, which sits between S and F on a QWERTY keyboard, could be the stop it in place key, and indeed it was. So there you go, that's for um, anybody else who'd like to play this, I'd like to pass that knowledge along. Control the movement of your cart to is S, D and F, where S is to move left, F is to move right, and D is to stop the carts. With that in mind, we now have, oh, excuse me, we seem to have come out of this. Let me get us back on track. We now have more carts and more colours of gumball. And I think the gumballs are going to be a bit faster too. At least they certainly are in levels after this. I did find one um, very helpful let's play that did uh, complete the game entirely. It was a long play that um, got right to the end in one video. So even if I'm unable to get us much further than this, although I'd like to get us past um, this level if possible. How many do we need on a quota? 18, okay. 
Oh yeah, you'll notice um, from how we achieved the last level that um, contrary to what I had assumed, you only need um, oh I'm not sure what to do with that orange one um, let's keep it going, oh no that was wrong I took my off the gumball oh no this is this has gone horribly wrong and you can't move the carts when the foreman is oh you can't move the carts when the foreman is acting I completely lost my train of thought there yeah yeah it's the um, cumulative total of all of your gumballs that counts towards your quota not individual colors that's what I was trying to say uh, I think this gets us a blue which is rather nice I'll take that um, so quite a silly team we've only got two useful gumballs in our ah, actually yeah this is how I can do an orange straight in there nice um, try not to let that speckled one get in and trying not to let it um, ah, ah, ah. oh somehow I managed that get that working okay yeah no that works I'll take I'll take that so I've got five in total okay not looking great um, oh okay well that's I don't think that oh what? Well, right, I might be able to get this one. Oh, rats. Oh, rats. I can get this blue one. Oh, no, we're definitely not going to get it before the end of the day this time. Oh, and I've anchored the foreman. Although we are the foreman. Do you notice that how we, um, even though we got promoted, we're still doing exactly the same job? And, and it greater complexity all right let's let's get some of these gumballs checked off oh game over there you go well at least I'll get the benefit of um, only having got three scores is that I'm guaranteed to be on the leaderboard so that's nice um, let's have another go uh, is this the that's the demo, isn't it? Okay. I always get confused when the demo starts up. Alright, so back to level one, which we know we can do with reasonable efficiency. Um, so, if. Oh no, that didn't go very well, did it? Um, if we can get past the second level, um, it'd be nice to show you the cutscene that you get there as well, which kind of puts the first in some kind of context. Um, I think is um, yeah all part and parcel of what this game is doing okay so we need to go and then okay I can just about manage that maneuver I think oh no hang on it's the flicking the spacebar twice to get there and the moving the carts at the same time is this quite a speedy route but quite effective if you um, if you get it to work for you. Um, I've definitely seen other players um, use like those first three exit points to um, to make up their quotas uh, quickly. I think we've done it. Okay. This should do it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. I think we got a higher score before because we did it quickly as well, which is nice. Again, the Apple II is making um, what use it can out of its um, musical capabilities to do those little snippets of um, familiar tunes. All right, so we don't want this gumball. The speckled ones are not are not welcome here. The duds. Oh no, I pressed the wrong. Oh, I pressed the wrong key already. It's going terribly. Um, uh, I think we might have got away with that one somehow. Okay. All right. Um, back here, and then we we'll do the same path, but with the orange one. All right, not bad. 
So there is like a risk reward benefit. So you can go you can go to the um, the intake earlier on if you want to, but also you risk losing some that are in the pipes at the time. Okay, this is doable, but I've got to control my uh, impulses. <laughs> So I might go a little bit quieter while I'm focusing on this one because I really would like to show you the next cutscene if we can if we can get there. All right, now this is good. Um, so I know I can get the greens and the oranges just with um, flicking the switches. I had to concentrate on how to say that. Flicking the switches. Um, the blues are a little more tricky. Takes a little bit more. Uh, coordination and thought but can be done um, what are we up to this will be 13 all right I think if I get in the zone we might be able to to work this one luckily there's been no more duds which is is a relief um, oh hang on Oh, I didn't get this one right, did I? Um, I'm just going to focus on this orange one, which I can get. Uh oh. Um, I'm close, aren't I? What have I got? 17. I just need one more. Come on. Go! <gasps> There's only minutes. I think it does pause a little bit for. We did it! Yeah, yeah okay, let's watch this cutscene. Ah, uh, you see? I think that's us and not the foreman. And. That heart at the beginning, it wasn't the outhouse, it might have been, but that was our abode. And as we um, as we gain a promotion from our hard work, we I'm gonna pause it. Thanks. Phew. As we gain promotions from our hard work, we're able to afford greater luxury, um, greater material wealth. Isn't that good? Um, so <laughs> slowly but surely, um, the game is weaving a story of a person's life through work. Which is actually a really interesting thing to talk about, um, especially through uh, the medium of play. Um, it's a really interesting to do, and um, from my perspective, anyway, this um, this game kind of sits along something like um, Caretica, Caretica, however you say it, um, by Jordan Mechner, which was first published in 1984, so the year after Gumball, um, in really having cracked um, narrative in game in that uh, what it's doing mechanically is the story it is the, it is the game and it is the story um, and there are like little little bits of context that appear around it um, but it's all unified and it all has to be uh, very simple and abstracted to some degree um, stylized to some degree um, but is is really really successful as a as a whole whole work of art in terms of what it's saying, um, and yeah, I think that's something that was kind of perhaps even easier to achieve in the early days of, um, of video games, in that the technical limitations had to force you to um, make things essential, simple, stylized, and essential. Uh, in order to realise um, what you're trying to do um, and to make the most of it. Um, so uh, Gumball definitely has, from discovering all these things about Gumball, it certainly has gone up in my estimation as a, as a very well-made game. Um, let's carry on for a sec. Um, I don't know what I'll be able to do here. I don't think I've played this level before. I think this is my high, high, high score. Um, I think we've got an, a fourth colour? There is another wrinkle that comes into this game in that there are explode. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I did manage that. 
um, there are exploding gumballs that appear and you are expected to use the Apple II's joystick um, although the early the early versions of the Apple II had a paddle rather than a joystick which was like a I think a dial which might also have doubled up as a no we didn't quite get that one okay uh, uh, a dial which also doubled up as a button possibly um, it looked a bit like a remote an old old style remote control to me when I looked looked into it ah okay uh, no that was incorrect at least there wasn't anything in that one I suppose um, what are we doing this one no, okay, we missed that. Missed the boat there. All right, here's a blue. Can we do anything with this blue? Probably. We need to go there, do that, and do that, and do that, and and then go over here. And that gets us one of those. Okay, don't think we're gonna get to 29, folks. Um, but if we see a bomb, that will be even more exciting, won't it? So what you uh, gather, just from observation, what, oh, that didn't go quite right. Uh, from what you're supposed to do is the, you can use the, oh, that was wrong, no, oh, no, don't empty out my four. That's where I was doing the best. Uh, when the bomb is active, you definitely, you know that um, orally, you can hear that. Um, it's pretty effective, kind of similarly effective in the way that, um, sound is used in degeneration. Um, it's a really good signifier of, of the imminent peril that you're in. Hey, that worked. Let's get rid of some of these. Okay. Um, I need 27 to get now. Um, yeah, and I think, I think using the, jo the joystick activates um, a crosshair and you've got to get the crosshair to the um, to the location of the, wow the day's almost over I wish my working days were quite this quick It'd be mind you they're pretty pretty hair raising oh how did I manage that that was pure fluke uh, no that's not gonna work is it well there you go, game over. Yeah, top score, nice. Did pretty well there. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more, any further in um, Gumball. My reflex is not that great. Hand-eye coordination is, you know, so so um, in in terms of uh, trigger reflexes. Um, I doubt I'd be able to get rid of that bomb, even if I could manage to emulate the um, joystick without having a joystick that would be a challenge for sure um, but I guess I'll um, I'll just finish up if I may Gumball thank you I'll just let it run and see what happens uh, while I while I finish up um, so spoiler warning for the rest of Gumball I think there are five levels, um, and I've uh, yeah I've seen a playthrough of the entire game. So you get a promotion each time. I think you end up as uh, as a manager. Maybe you get even higher than that um, in the ranks, um, and your abode increases until you get a you definitely get a castle at some point, and the um, the little musical snippet is Rule Britannia at that point, which I thought was pretty amusing, um, and then. Uh, if you if you complete all five levels, you get retirement. Your, your achievement is retirement, and it's a picture of a sunset. That's that's what the the cutscene is at the end, and it's it's like a, a an image of death, um, and then that's that's the end of the game. It's um it's quite extraordinary, really, um, and certainly asks questions about. <laughs> how we live our lives and how we work our lives um, and does it all through you know an uh, action like this which um, I find really really interesting and um, a great way of, of using video games really 
so that's that's kind of all I have to say about Gumball at this point. Uh, we may return to it another time. Um, maybe if I uh, I get hooked and I become uh, a pro at Gumball, we may we may stream again. But until that time, uh, many thanks to Gumball um, and everybody who worked on it. It's a great game. <laughs>